Hey everybody, welcome back to Minor Stuff. I'm Matt. <laughs> I'm Pat. We're, we're the, the Minor, Minor Brothers. Brothers. Today we're going over our list of our top 10 sort of dream bottles we're challenged by everyday drinker with. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. Alright, welcome back everybody. Before we get started with our challenge from the Everyday Drinker, please subscribe to this channel. Uh, like this video, drop some comments down below of what is your 10 bottles. If you could have any bottles, what weird to do would your 10 be to have in your home bar or other bar. Um, also, before we get started with this, follow us over on Patreon. We got a Patreon page up, putting some content over there that includes a whole bunch of stuff we can't cover on YouTube. Um, so head over there and there's ways you can get cool stuff from us and um, samples and all sorts of good stuff what we got going on over there. So go over there and check it on out for us. So let's talk about what we're drinking today. Okay. Four Roses. Often we don't talk about Four Roses I feel like it's overlooked enough. a lot. I, I, we don't talk about it nearly enough. Mm. And the, we're, today we're drinking Small Batch Select. Um, however, my favorite by far is the Single Barrel Barrel Proof. Yeah, that's... that bottle was phenomenal. Yep. And it's something that we can't find that easily at all. And I somehow got crazy lucky and got two bottles, one one bottle each two month in a row. Yep. Yeah. So those things are going to be cherished until I can get more. Um, however, until then, this is a great drink. And this is great. only like, I want to say it's like 50-something dollars maybe. Uh, but it's a great bourbon. And what does this come in at? Um, 104 proof. So, not killer on the proof. Nope. It's a good, easy it's sipper. Um, definitely, we overlook Four Roses. We don't give them enough love. Definitely not. So, so, all right. The challenge from Everyday Drinker was you could try to find 10, I, I sort of look at it like this, the 10 ultimate hunting bourbons. Yep. Because this is the dream bar. If money wasn't an option and you could just go secondary this out, boom, done. However, money always is an option. Um... So we, this, these are the 10 bottles that we're always hunting for. And like, if I could have that dream bar, like that, this would be it. This is what we came up with. Yeah. So number 10, Pat. Good old OFC. Yes. Because that thing is expensive AF. It's serious money. I mean, even retail on it, you're still fucking looking at mad money. You talk secondary and it's I was going to say, crazier. retail is somewhere in the 3,000 range. Yeah. Um, and like, like New Hampshire does a lottery of it. And... It went out in the lottery and somebody won it and uh, they're like, whatever. He's like, it was great. I'll, I'll uh, my one chance in my life, I'll, I'll throw it on a credit card and just, that's an expensive pour. However, <laughs> that's an expensive pour. I want to be able to one day try. Yeah. I, so I want to try it and make sure it's worth the $3,000 before I pay for it. Is yeah. that possible? But it's also one of those things nobody's going to have on their shelves. Yeah. No, no, that, that is, that's one you put up there and that's something that people come over and you talk about that you don't share with people. Because that's expensive as fuck. It is. I would probably get too drunk and then share it with everybody in the bottom. Yeah, you share fucking them. everything, dude. It, it, it happens. It is what it is. Yeah. Um, next one, Four Roses Limited Edition. You know, this is it's not an expensive bottle, but it's just something that's like impossible for us to get. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we've only been doing... The, I've been into bourbon for 20-something years, but I've only been like crazy into bourbon now for probably like three or four years, and it was yep. mostly like Henry McKenna and some of those other things that I was always into. Um, but I never had a chance of, to try Four Roses LE, and it's a bottle that I would love to have because everybody says great, great things about it. Yeah. Could you imagine when you first got into it, all the cool stuff you could have tried before everything went allocated and got oh, crazy? Oh, my goodness. I'm kicking myself in the ass right I, now. I've only been into bourbon for like, what, you got me like five years ago or so into it, and um, it's, it's definitely taken off. And we were into it, but we weren't, like, that into it. Like, we would just drink it just to have whatever. Like, you know, and that's why, like, when all of a sudden then I was like, you know what, I'm going to get into this hardcore, and all of a sudden, Buffalo Trace. Everything else gone from the shelves. I'm like, what the heck? Yep. Uh, next one, though, both of us have been looking for this one hard. We found one at $1,400. Yeah, we found one. I stared at it, drooled at it a little bit, and... Uh, and then we waved goodbye to it. Cause yeah, because we no, no. I think, didn't we try to offer him some sort of package deal to, like, buy a whole bunch of bourbon to get it? Anyways, before we get... It's the uh, birthday bourbon from Old Forester. Yes. It's something we've been trying for. So this one was the 2021 um, birthday bourbon, I believe. Yeah, this one we haven't tried to get. We actually were going to try to get a Koi Hill. Um, 
But oh, that's right. Because they had both there. Yeah. And uh, but oh, it's such a pretty bottle, and and the juice inside, from what we've heard, is amazing. And it's just once again, it's one of those things you want to try. It's yep. one of those things I'd love to have on my shelf, to have on those special cool, occasions. Cool looking bottle. Yeah. It's, yeah. Um, next one, Pat. Weller CYPB. Create your perfect bourbon. Never seen it. Never even seen a bottle of it, except for on the internet. So I would absolutely... Yeah, way too much money. Yes, way too much money on secondary. Um, but that's one of those things. If I could find it at retail mm -hmm. grade, if I could find it at a reasonable secondary, I'll pay two fifty for that bottle because I know I'll probably never see one again. Yeah. But the, the, the chance, I, I'd want to make sure it was worth it. And and I'm hoping it's worth it. That's the, the thing about a lot of these things is you, you hope that they're all worth it. Because even though other people have said it's great, we all have different flavor palettes. Yep, and and also you have to live with the expectations. Like we got that Elmer T. Lee, and we thought it was going to be amazing because it's a super rare allocated thing, and it's just a it is a great forty dollar bourbon, it's outstanding brilliant. forty dollar. I would not classic. even say top shelf. I would say like middle to bottom shelf bourbon. It's not. Yeah, it, it's good for phenomenal. what it is, but it's not worth the secondary price that it goes for. It's outrageous. Absolutely. Um, next one up on the list, King of Kentucky. Another uh, one we are probably never going to get to see up here. We're going to have to make some I special I think it's Indiana, trip. Ohio, and Kentucky are the only releases of that. The 18-year, which is one of the newest ones, is only like 250 bottles, a couple barrels of it have been yep. released. Um, that's Kentucky it, only. And you guys find it, you know, and, and want to send it up to us. We're more than happy to pay for it. Just, you know, find us one. So. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say. Reach I, out. I'd even pay a little bit higher than what retail is. Yeah. Absolutely, but it's one of those things that I've just sort of, I know we're probably never going to see. If I had the, the uh, money wasn't an option, I could build my perfect bar. That's going to be on it, though. Going to be in there. Um, next one, Pat. E.H. Taylor, Warehouse C. So we went back and forth because, I mean, hell, I'd put the E.H. Taylor barrel proof on this because you're never going to freaking see that either. We have small batch and single barrel. Single barrel to me, way better than the small batch. I want to try these other ones. New Hampshire did this big giveaway you could buy this ticket and you could win literally every single E.H. Taylor there is, plus all the Pappy lineup and the B-Tac. The B-Tac, yeah. We tried, we lost. We lost. We bought a couple tickets because we were like, hey, there's $100 a ticket, whatever. It's It was all going to charity, so it's all for a good cause anyways. Yep. But just for the chance to try some of this stuff. Yep, it literally the entire E.H. Taylor collection, which would be amazing. It would be amazing. I'll tell you this much. The small batch... I was underimpressed with, and maybe it's because my expectations were so high because of how how hard it is to get. Yep. Single barrel blew my expectations away. The single barrel was amazing. Yes. Um, so I we definitely we want to try the entire lineup now that we can because it is great. Yep. Absolutely. Um, and or we assume it's going to be great. Uh, next one though, Jack Daniels Coy Hill. That's. Freaking A. This thing is we've, like... We've had a couple close calls with it because New Hampshire's put it out a couple times but it's gone before we got like there. this close every time. And then we've seen one for $800 and I'm not willing to pay $800 for a bottle. No. No. no and we all. tried running a really good deal past that dude too because we talked to the owner of the, of the place and like, listen, we'll buy... What'd you offer? Like to buy like 20 other bottles from them? Something stupid... And for it to be even still higher than retail is on it, and he still said no. I just, yeah, it's one of those things. They like they like to have them on the shelves. Just like the same thing with, like, Bland Straight from the Barrel, all that type of stuff, which is, that's another bottle I'd love to have. You know what I'm saying? But I'm not going to pay the secondary prices for that that people want. Like, $600 for that bottle? Like, why? No. It's, it like, you know, it can sit there, whatever. It can, it can it, you know, you can have this... Like, this person has this amazing glass shelf in the middle of their store. Mm -hmm. And it's like, great, you can have that, but it's not making you money just by having people sit there and look at it all. Yeah. Like, you're a business, you need to make money. You know, you have this amazingly glass you display. Could, you could sell it to two guys who love bourbon and have a YouTube channel and could tell other people to go visit you, you know. I not even know. that. It's just like, what's the point of having it, like, you built this massive display in the middle of your store to not sell any of it? You know what I'm saying? Like, you just want to... Oh, he's it. hoping some rich asswipe's going to show up and be like, oh, yeah, I got that. That's, and, that's, that's and an maybe expensive they one. And not even know anything about it. Maybe they will. Next one, though, William LaRue Weller. We got a sample from one of our subscribers. Seriously. It was amazing. And, yes. We'll link our little our, our thing of 
just it was it was like rain from the heavens. It was absolutely mm. magical. It was a great drink. It Afterward, blew our expectations out of the water. Oh, definitely. I believe afterwards you said it was like watching the birth of your first child. It, it's it's right up there. And you know what? I will pay extra money to buy a bottle of William Lou Weller to match up with the, the handy that's up there. Like, that bottle was awesome. Yeah. The juice is amazing. And I will pay more money to have another one. Yep. Um, but that's definitely something that I got to find first that's not crazy, crazy money Yep. Um, to get on our shelves. Piggybacking off of that one, our number two one that we'd love to have, George, George T. Stag. Especially this new. The new release is coming up, I think it's 138.7 proof. Seriously, that is like right up my alley. Like, mm. I love high proofs and I love Stag. So I can only imagine how amazing this bottle is going to taste. Yep. Uh, we've had a couple friends that have had George C. Stag, and they've all they've finished them before we actually, you know, were able to to meet up or whatever. But they said it's the best stuff that they've ever had, mm -hmm. and that's why like our expectations they're way up here for this bottle, and we hope to one day, you know, get a bottle of it. Yep. Absolutely hope. Oh, we're going to. We're so going. number one. And there's multiple bottles as our number one, because it's really any bottle of the Pappy collection. It, yes. The entire Pappy lineup, don't care what, I want to try it. It is the ultimate hunted bourbon, I feel like. I feel like it is, too. You're only going to see them for secondary. You're never going to ever see this for, you know, anything realistically priced. And every lottery and that we em enter in, you literally watch them go in order. Pappy, 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 B-Tac. Yep. And then all the other bottles sort of get nitpicked as to what sort of people's flavor palettes go to. Yep. But no matter what, Pappy, B-Tac is at the top of, it seems like, everybody's list. Yeah, every single one. And I'll tell you, B-Tac came through for us so far. So I can only imagine Pappy's yeah. that good as well. Yeah. It, it, and I, I hope it meets expectations because, you know, it's got a lot of people out there just keep saying how amazing it is. So hopefully when we get it, it, it meets that expectation, doesn't let us down. We at least have our, we have some uh, 107 and Weller 12 that we mix together, we're putting into a barrel, yeah. uh, aging it. So in a couple weeks, we'll have our poor man, Pappy. So hopefully that's as good, but hey, who knows. Anyways, that's our top 10 list that we were challenged by Everyday Drinker. Um, of our dream bourbons. Dream bourbons. Let us know down in the comments down below, what are your guys' dream bourbons? Um, and, and, you know... We all know that there's a great list out there. It's just what what your sort of amazing yeah. bottle is. We had we had about like five of the bottles we were talking about putting on this list. We went back and forth on this one for quite a while. Um, and make sure you also head over on to Patreon if you don't mind and check us out over there. Um, we're gonna be putting quite a bit of content over there and uh, a lot of cool stuff. So make sure you continue to check us out. And thank you everybody for following us and uh, subscribing, doing everything you guys do awesomely. Yeah, everybody have a good day.